Ferrari and McLaren revealed two incredible new hypercars within nine days of each other. The W1 from McLaren and the F80 from Ferrari. And although Ferrari insists that the F80 is not a direct competitor of the W1, it's hard not to balk at that statement as the two cars are nearly identical in principle and only slightly different in practice. Both the F80 and W1 have a top speed of 217 miles per hour. Both are built on a carbon fiber monocoque chassis. Both are kinetic energy recovering system hybrids. Both use brand new in-house developed mid-mounted internal combustion engines that rev to 9200 RPM. Both cars produce nearly 1200 horsepower. Both cars were developed with a focus on ground effect aerodynamics, and both will be built in extremely limited numbers, 799 for the Ferrari and 399 for the McLaren. These cars are so similar, in fact, that in order to find the differences, we need to do an extremely deep dive into their specs and engineering. And we'll start with the internal combustion engines. Ferrari's engine is an F1-inspired, 120-degree angle, twin-turbocharged, 3-liter V6 that revs to 9200 RPM and produces 888 horsepower and 620 pound-feet of torque. The engine also utilizes an electric motor to assist turbo boost, which, according to Ferrari, completely eliminates turbo lag. The motor powering the W1 is a completely in-house developed power plant, which should be extremely exciting to McLaren fans since every motor used to power their previous cars was based on a Nissan engine from the 1990s. The twin turbocharged 4 liter MHP8 V8 engine produces 915 horsepower, revs to 9200 RPM, and features plasma spray coated cylinder bores. So as far as the internal combustion engine goes, McLaren's V8 produces 27 more horsepower than Ferrari's V6. If you're new to my channel, I publish original automotive content. So if you're not subscribed yet, click below to subscribe. And don't forget to click on the notifications bell so you can be notified about my latest video. One of the only substantial differences between the two cars is their hybrid powertrain. The W1 uses only one electric motor, while the F80 uses three. McLaren refers to their hybrid system as the E-Module, and it is made up of a radical flux electric motor, a motor control unit, and a 1.4 kilowatt hour battery pack. Ferrari's hybrid system utilizes three electric motors, one to assist the turbochargers in the internal combustion engine, and two additional motors that power the front axle and also provide torque vectoring. With the hybrid system, the Ferrari F80 produces a combined 1184 horsepower and 805 foot-pounds of torque, and the McLaren produces 1258 horsepower and 988 pound-feet of torque. So as far as total horsepower goes, the McLaren produces 75 more horsepower and 183 additional foot-pounds of torque than the Ferrari. So thus far, McLaren's got the Ferrari beat on horsepower and torque. Now let's look at performance. The F80 does 0 to 60 in 2.1 seconds, 0 to 124 miles per hour in 5.8 seconds, and has a top speed of 217 miles per hour, while the W1 does 0 to 60 in 2.7 seconds, 0 to 124 in 5.8 seconds, and has a top speed of 217 miles per hour. Overall performance figures are once again similar, but the Ferrari is 0.6 seconds faster from 0 to 60. Now let's look at suspension. The F80 features a double wishbone active suspension system that uses 48 volt electric motors to control damper stiffness at all four wheels. 
The W1 uses an active suspension system that features pushrod suspension in the front and traditional outboard springs and dampers at the rear. For suspension, Ferrari focused on electronic technology and McLaren focused on old school race proven technology. We won't know for sure which setup is better until these cars face off on the track. When it comes to aerodynamics, both cars feature new technology but in completely different ways. According to Ferrari, the F80 produces 2,315 pounds of downforce and according to McLaren, the W1 produces 2,204 pounds of downforce. So in the aerodynamics category, Ferrari has McLaren beat with an additional 111 pounds of downforce. Now, let's look at dimensions and weight. The dimensions for the McLaren are a length of 182.5 inches, a width of 86.3 inches, a height of 46.5 inches, and the dry weight is 3,084 pounds. The dimensions for the Ferrari are a length of 190.6 inches, a width of 81.1 inches, a height of 44.8 inches, and the dry weight is 3,362 pounds. So the McLaren is wider and taller than the Ferrari, but overall the F80 is a much bigger and chunkier boy, especially at 278 pounds heavier. Now let's talk about the only aspect of these cars that matter in the practical world, since the majority of them are just going to sit in storage and at most might make an appearance at one or two car shows a year, and that is appearance. While the performance specs of these two cars are very similar, their exterior designs couldn't be more different with the Ferrari having more of a retro blocky look of late 70s race cars and the McLaren looking like something out of a science fiction movie. And since both of these cars are completely insane looking, we'll do an angle by angle perspective comparison and we'll start with the front. From this angle, neither of these cars looks great, but that Ferrari, that front end is so blocky that it looks like a pickup truck. Now let's see what they look like with the doors open. Oh man, that Ferrari looks even worse. I mean, it looks like a low effort Lego kit. From this angle, the wind goes to the McLaren. From this top three quarter angle, both cars look a lot better. And I would even go so far as to say that the Ferrari looks good. So from here, I'll give Ferrari the win. For this rear overhead three quarter angle, Again, both cars look good, but the Ferrari looks better. From the profile perspective, both cars are just difficult to look at, but again, the Ferrari looks a little better. I've got to say, I think both of these cars are awkward looking, and I definitely would not call either of them beautiful. But is it just me? Does everyone else think these cars are gorgeous? How do you guys feel about the way they look? Let me know in the comments. So after taking a close look at these two cars, they're really not all that different. The specs are nearly identical. The overall performance is nearly identical and they're both pretty bizarre looking. And I don't really think that we could say one is better than the other. Personally, if I had all the money in the world, I wouldn't buy either one. Neither is a huge step forward from their nearly decade old predecessor and I honestly don't know what the point of either of these cars are. The W1 is basically a stranger looking version of the P1 and the F80 is basically a stranger looking version of the LaFerrari. But those are my thoughts and I would love to know what you guys think. Thanks for watching and for more automotive content that you cannot find anywhere else, click here to subscribe. Oh! <laughs>